and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and to everybody on YouTube for some Grixis Surveil. We got a donation deck here to kick off the day today. This is Best of One Day Monday, as you can see up here, and we're going to be doing a lot of Best of One decks after this. We got four Best of One decks to play, but up first, we are going to play a Best of Three League here with this uh, Grixis Surveil list. Um, this deck is, is kind of built around, well, of course, the Surveil mechanic, but kind of built around Mission Briefing, uh, being able to recast instants and sorceries in our graveyard, uh, depending on which, uh, whatever scenario we need, and Disinformation Campaign, uh, which is, of course, the real payoff for having all the Surveil stuff, being able to make your opponent draw, or sorry, <laughs> you get to draw, make your opponent discard while you draw. Um, so yeah, besides that, as far as th surveilling go, obviously Thought Erasure, there's a couple of Discovery in here as well. Sinister Sabotage makes an appearance in the, the sideboard. But as you can see, it's basically all two and three mana cards, because Discovery is really a two mana card as well. Um, it's just listed over here at seven, but it's really a two mana card. So all sorts of two and three mana cards, trying to be able to, um, you know, have, have a good turn two play, have a good turn three play, and then starting on turn four, turn five, turn six, you can be double spelling with all of these. Brazen Borrower and Murdus Rider are just kind of too strong to not to play, but unfortunately they don't really work very well with Mission Briefing because they are creatures in the graveyard. That is, if Murdus Rider even gets to the graveyard. Um, but they would be creatures over there, so they don't, um, so they don't get to surveil. So that's why we don't really have more of those. Um, but that's why we have... Uh, cards like Obnixilus' is Cruelty, Bedevil, um, some other instants and sorceries like that. Uh, so talk about a couple of our card choices. Of course, with Grixis, um, well, I guess our main... All right, so our main game plan, of course, is is getting the, the value with Disinformation Campaign, reduce their resources, get more resources for us. And if we can kind of uh, get this going and... Um, you know, make it so they don't have as many resources, then Nickel Bull's Dragon God can really take over. And, um, you know, basically each, the tick up for Nickel Bull's Dragon God is basically disinformation campaign. <laughs> kind of, you know, like you draw, they have to exile a card from their hand or a permanent they control. Um, so basically that's that's kind of like the, the game plan is we draw, they get rid of stuff. And then just over time, we just outgrind them. Um, as far as a couple of the card choices, the reason why I want to play Brazen Borrower in particular is because Grixis doesn't have answers to all types of permanents, especially enchantments. We don't really have answers to enchantments. And so I want a couple of Brazen Borrowers to be able to bounce enchantments, because there are a lot of them in the format with like Fires of Invention and Wilderness Reclamation and um, Trail of Crumbs and stuff like that. So we can bounce an enchantment, and hopefully we've been uh, making our opponent discard a lot of cards uh, already with Thought Razor and Campaign, and so like maybe they're like out of cards. We could we could bounce the enchantment and then go disinformation campaign and make them discard or bounce and then Thought Erasure, of course. So that's why I wanted to make sure to have a couple of brazen borrowers as far as bounce spells. Uh, Tyrant Scorn can kind of do the same thing. Um, you know, Fires of Invention being pretty big, you know, we have like some more expensive creatures like Cavaliers and um, Kenrith and stuff like that. And while those cards aren't necessarily great to bounce. Sorry, while those cards aren't necessarily great to bounce on their own, especially the Cavaliers, because you don't really want them to be able to replay them, if you can pair a bounce with a discard spell, you can still get rid of them. So Tyrant Scorn is a two-mana removal spell for the aggro decks that can also just do some extra work against um, the bigger creature decks like Fires as well. Uh, we got one negate in here. I wanted to fit more counter spells. Sorry, all right, all better. I wanted to fit more counter spells in general in the deck, like you know having like sabotage in the main deck. But disinformation campaign honestly doesn't really work that well with counter magic because you want to either be able to slam, like if you slam disinformation campaign on turn three, which is what you want to do, you don't want to untap and then have a counter spell because your opponent you know presumably plays like some threat onto the board. And so you're behind on the battlefield, so you need to have removal to be able to answer uh, what they have. Um, <clears throat> also, just having different one ofs, as you can see, how we have like some different ones and twos. Having a lot of different ones and twos, and just a lot of different spells in general, is really what you want with mission briefing, because you want to be able to have a lot of options in your graveyard, uh, so you can get the perfect answer 
depending on what the situation is. You don't really want like a whole bunch of four ofs when you're playing a card like Mission Briefing as well. All right, then finally, uh, removal spells. Yeah, so we're going with a couple of devils. I think I'd rather be playing Murderous Rider overall, um, but this could take out a Witch's Oven as well. And plus, this is something we get to Mission Briefing. And then Omnixilis' Cruelty, the reason why this is important is because of the Fires decks. Um, exiling Cavalier of Flame and Cavalier of Gales, not letting them get their triggers, especially with Cavalier of Gales. So instant speed answers to those because of the haste as well. Um, Omnixilis' Cruelty is a pretty important card in the format. Uh, Drown the Lock's a good one for the really late game, and it's a great one to Mission Briefing again, just be a hard counter spell really late in the game. And... Uh, there, why not cut a black water for Castle Vantress? <clears throat> a black water. Pro probably this, probably Dismal Backwater. Um, this deck really needs as much blue and black mana as possible. We need all the black mana as possible because of Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, and then obviously the all the double blacks, but this is triple black. So you need as much black mana as possible. And we need a lot of blue mana because of Mission Briefing. You know, Mission Briefing being double blue means that we need a lot of blue mana. So we honestly need as many blue and black duels as possible. I honestly thought about more... Um, I honestly thought about, like, a a Demir Gilgate or two, honestly. Because um, we just need as much blue and black mana as possible. So I think all the dual lands are are really necessary, and they're, they're just better than playing um, uh, one-color lands. Obviously, we want to still have uh, some just untapped lands. We don't want a lot of tap lands either. So I just have, have one temple, two Bloodfell Caves. We got 11 red overall. We only have six red cards in the deck. I'm hoping 11 red sources is good enough. No basic mountain, even though we have the Fabled Passage, because basically besides these six cards, basic mountain would just be a horrible card for everything else. So no basic mountain. Um, just the one island. Uh, but yeah, we're basically just going to be trying to get a lot of black mana. This is only only six lands that don't that aren't black, and that's that's like a really important thing because you don't want to have like three non-black lands uh, when you're playing Nicol Bola. So <clears throat> trying to get as as little lands that don't tap for black as possible. So we got four steam vents, one temple of Epiphany, one island. So there's only six lands that don't tap for black mana. Okay, well let's go ahead and let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, anyway, what's up, Blue Jin, Radical Guru, Vox Mortis, everybody joining in. So we're going to be playing a league here, see if we get to five wins before two losses. Hey, Trunks. All right, so we'll just get the blue mana right away. This looks like fires. Hey, Wanderer, good afternoon. What does it mean for Mythic 99%? It means you're... <clears throat> You're 1% away from being in the top 1,500. I think the numbers go down to 1,500 now. Solar Blaze. That was the one I was expecting too much. Yes, yeah, so you have to you have to finish the month. It's not yeah, you, it's not that you just um, enter the month at some point in the top twelve hundred. You have to finish the month in the top twelve hundred to get a qualification for the qualifier.
Hmm. Yes, the, the qualifier is, in, is best of three. Hey, Asterania. This is a, just a tough play here. Definitely consider just discovering, picking these back up, and playing disinformation campaign again. Here we go. Considered bouncing the fires, but. Like, if they didn't have the Teferi and I could, you know, drown in the lock, that would be nice. Like, they, they now have the four spells. And I could bounce Teferi and Fires. And hold up Drown in the lock this next turn. They just didn't haste. I guess they want to activate Castle. No lands over there. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. I'm not expecting to be able to untap with Nicol Bolas, but that would be really great if we did. No, I am not making this up as I go. And they always just have infinite cavaliers. Alright, so now they have a land in the graveyard. Huh, okay. So now we can now we can start making them discard stuff. Man, they really don't want to So I can discovery, put these back into hand, bounce something, and then make them discard it with the campaign. I can obviously just cast dispersal. I can drown in the lock to kill the cavalier. So many options here. I could go drown in the lock plus dispersal. Let's do that. <laughs> Thanks, Tiff Kakuna. All right, uh, Veer Day, let's see what you got. So, Goose, Pelt Collector, Bone Crusher, Spellbreaker, Wicked Wolf. Yeah, I like this more. Yeah, I like that more. Yeah, I like that Veer Day. That's more like it. All right, so unfortunately, right, because of using dispersal like that, I don't have any. I don't. I don't have a surveil card to pick these things up. Hmm. I 
think I really have an option but bounce stuff. I was kind of hoping they were going to play the Teferi pre-combat, and then I could bounce the Cavalier, and then they couldn't replay the Cavalier. Hey, Potest. <clears throat> but yeah, Brazen Borrow didn't look so good there. You know, like, being real removal spells, like, if we just had a real removal spell for the Cavalier and the Teferi, like, the, that would have been a lot better. Um, you know, that happens. Definitely considered just going Cry the Carnarium also. But, you know, like, so we knew they had Red Teferi and, or sorry, Red Cavalier and Teferi. And Thought Erasure would be so perfect to draw. Well, their last card is Red Cavalier, which is pretty likely. Yeah, they kept that card. Okay, so Brazen Borrower looked really bad. Obviously, I don't really want Cry or Ritual of Soot, even though the, the Soot killed the... Um, Killed the 4 3. Well, we're supposed to be able to, like, you know, as we talked about, it could, it could bounce the fires, but it looks pretty bad there. Yeah, I mean, this, this card's just great against, yeah, Blue Cavalier and Red Cavalier both. Um,.
Yeah, basically, yeah, we're, yes, it's like Demir, Demir Surveil with Bolas for the win con. Um, I'm not sure if we can really play Narset and Campaign. That's why I'm not really sure about. Campaign should be a lot better here in the post board games, though, because, like, game, that game, you know, they had a couple of red white cards they got to just discard very easily. Scorn's really just a bounce spell. Thing is, we need a good amount of removal, though. Boss, why should we be playing this mystical dispute? I mean, it's just—it's basically just a bounce spell to to bounce the creatures, and so yeah, it's it's not great. Absolutely love Omnixus's cruelty in this matchup. A big card that we got to be worried about is, of course, Teferi, because we want to be able to play instants, and so that's like the, you know, we can, we can sit back and handle creatures for a while, but if they have the Teferi in play, and they can haste their stuff, like, it's, that's the huge problem. Hmm. I will need more mana. So I want to just keep land land immediately though. Um, stolen by phase. Stolen by the Fey. Is there any way to make that card playable? It's kind of tough. It's not... It's not great. Um, basically, you need to kind of ignore the first part. You have to to make stolen by the Fey good. You really, you really want the X U U create X blue fairy creature tokens with flying. That's going to be the real important thing that you really want with that uh, card. And preferably, you'd probably want you probably want your own creatures that you could bounce, such as Brazen Borrower. So if your opponent's not playing creatures, you could bounce it. Please, no Teferi. That's no, fine. Suffer for your cause. This just allows me to have open mana for two. For two things by using the nickel bolus there instead of ticking up and then using a spell to kill that um, and obviously with fires of invention you need to have mana for two things should maybe be murderous riding this thing 
Yeah, maybe that's that could be just a bad Omnixus cruelty because the blue cavalier you really gotta exile. So I, I probably should have just ridered that. Yeah, that that was a bad choice by me. A Yara only triggers with with black creatures, so a Yara would not trigger with a blue creature, with blue fairies. But you could have something like um, Corpse Knight would. All right, so this game looks good for us. My intellect is without limit. Could definitely just play the other Nicol Bolas there, but that seems pretty greedy. Just won't even let them get the trigger there, even though we have the cruelty. My schemes are never ending. Not so humble brag. Need mission briefing. So you can mission briefing a drown in the lock. No, I don't feel bad for playing the deck that we're playing. Not at all. I don't know why they still have Deafening Clarion in their deck. You're supposed to do the castle after you could scry or draw three, put two cards you don't like back on top, and then scry them to the bottom. Uh, yeah. Um, no, it's it's not it's not real easy making Nicol Bolas decks work. So they could have another, like, a Kenrith or, you know, like, another... I guess they'd have to have Kenrith for haste. They could... Cavalier... They could don't have the mana for haste now. You get to play another spell here. But yeah, with with having castle and fires, they've had, you know, they've had zero cards in hand for like the last like four turns, and every turn it's just been a five mana mythic. Every turn. But 
but we should still we should hopefully grind them out. We got more removal. Looks like maybe they have Bone Crusher Giant. They're trying to decide how to use it. I mean, my guess here. Ah, they just had another Cavalier. Defiance has consequence. I will return. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. <laughs> you have no weakness I cannot exploit. So yeah, we had to. Um, I knew that the, I knew that my nickel bolus was going to die by minusing, but I had the backup nickel bolus, and I, I like keeping up this. Infant speed removal spell here. Yeah, Nickel Balls is the coolest planeswalker. Sea of Fires. All right. Discoveries have looked pretty good so far. Those Obnixus cruelties are awesome. Campaign's not going to be as good on the draw, that's for sure. I'm going to take out another campaign and play an extra dispute. Countering that, countering Teferi is really important. We saw you know, they played one Teferi, we had the negate for it. That was a, a huge deal here with this game. Yeah, whenever our deck wins, we're not winning by a few inches. We're winning by a mile. Like with Nicol Bolas Dragon God wins by a mile. It's just can we, you know, can we stabilize and pull ahead and everything? Yeah, yep, we're doing all all best of one today except for this donation deck. We had, I had a donation deck to get to. Um, so yeah, we're doing this this one donation deck, and then the rest, the other four decks today, are all going to be best of one. Unfortunately, we got to put Nicol Bolas back, even though that's like the coolest card. We just have to put it back. No, I'm not quilting. What are we looking to steal with agent? They're they're cavaliers. Can also take we can also take their fires, could take their castle vantress, could take their Teferi. Can take their Sphinx of Foresight. Yeah, they, they mold the five. I mold the six. Um, they get the... They get the Scry three to begin with. Yeah, Radical Guru, I think I think I may have to delay that a week, a weekend. All right, can I get that Nickel Bolas back?
to use a removal on that thing. I mean, I guess I could have sinister sabotaged it, but... That's a really good removal spell to use on that thing. Mm, I wish I would have used the Murderous Rider. I like having Sabotage plus Negate. Play Nickel Bullets, they could play a Cavalier. Should have just should have just continued to wait. I am a god once again. Why are they playing Clarion still? Let your weak should just continue to wait. I like holding Dispute because Dispute can, can counter the Cavaliers. Or negate can't. It's like they don't they don't like really have the mana to pay for dispute anyway. Get a murderous rider. Use mission briefing so I get the surveil too, and also to look for, ah, look for a narset. That'd be good. Guess I could dispersal.
All right, grinding down the fires of invention deck. I have practiced to keep yes, they mold a five, but I mold a six. They had a ton of scries. But we weren't just one card ahead there. We were many, many, many cards ahead. Did you have fun in the match? Your feedback matters. What am I, what am I supposed to say? I mean, I enjoy playing Magic the Gathering. So yes, I wish your client wasn't so laggy. So no. I mean, the answer is yes, but I don't really want to say yes and then think that the client works really well. So I'll just skip. Um, I I think that's that's something that uh, just pops up randomly every every now and again. It's like, <laughs> can we can we have more options? Yes or no. All right, let's see how good mission briefing is. Now. Yeah, okay, can I write a paragraph? <laughs> yeah, the game's a lot more fun when you're not in, when you're not an elk. Just plain rude. Well, I wish I would have had that the turn before. So I wouldn't have wasted that up next to cruelty, but we'll still take it. Especially I have mission briefing for Cry of the Carnarium also, if need be. I was I was just hoping that I was gonna draw. So I was just thinking I'd be happy if, if we would have drawn um, a land to be able to go briefing. Briefing plus uh, Omnixus of Cruelty. Yeah, donation decks are $20. Alright, well, good thing we shocked in to have this Murderous Rider available as well. Get rid of that thing. Um, get this in here. They got a lot of lands they can exile, but that just I makes their castle Lock Twain worse if they're exiling lands. And they exiled the wrong one. They need to keep black mana for castle. I outsmarted you eons ago. It's a long time ago. Hmm. Four cards over there. I 
I definitely thought about just going with Drown in the Lock there and then being able to play the Murderous Rider. Just get out of here, Witch's Oven. Get on out of here. Um... Which is often, you know, can you know can make food tokens, they can sacrifice food tokens to nickel bolas. Witness a mote of my power. Alright, so I got mission briefing plus drown in the lock, so whatever they draw, I can, I can just counter it. Sorry, Cauldron Familiar. Get out of here. I'm not taking that one point of damage. Not gonna do it. All right, and now they have to draw instant speed removal because I'm just making them discard whatever they draw. That was not instant speed removal. And we minus eight nickel bolus. All existence bows to me. Yeah, we play historic. Yep. Yeah, we have... Uh, two historic decks today. We have mono green. That's the H over here. We got mono green, Stompy, and Rakdo second right. That we'll be playing over there. Well, those Cry the Carnariums were awesome. This is normally not the best disinformation campaign matchup. That's not a bad one. <laughs> Shocks are two, counters one damage cat, not taking a single point of damage. Not unless I not unless I am the one responsible for that damage. That's the only damage I'm taking. The only damage I'm taking over here. But yeah, like the four disinformation campaign, four thought erasure, like that's, these aren't super necessary to be four of each. Just I don't I don't really care to play any of these other cards either though. I mean I, I could just play I could just take out the four campaigns and play three Narset. Could just do that. That's fine. Yeah, no 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 elder spell. I mean it yeah, if you have like your nickel bolus out there and then they have some planeswalkers, then you elder spell them and you get you know, you can win, but Overall, there's not just a ton of Planeswalkers in the format, and I don't think it's the best um, spell that we could be playing. <laughs> As for Mill and Ranked, is that even legal? <laughs> yeah, the two the two decks that we're going to be playing in Best of One and Ranked today are, are both pretty janky, um, but whatever. Uh, there, there are no premium users on Arena. I'm not sure what you, see, you don't have the same configuration when searching for cards. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Like, just like, it could be that... 
like are you, are you talking about like on arena um you may where where it has like the deck name of your deck you can change the format of your deck and maybe if you're just in like standard then you can't see the old cards like you'll only see cards that are legal in the format that you have selected Tried the model blacklist. Hand hate is really good versus fires and cats. You put a ley line of the void as a one of since I don't have the last copy of Wrangle for a full hey, play set. Okay. That's not bad. Hmm. I guess that thing's going to hit harder. Nothing attacks for three, Chandra attacks for two. I wouldn't mind one of those Cry of the Canariums. I don't really have more Planeswalker removal. Well, I can counter that, but even if I counter that, now I'm dead to these things. There are a couple good draws there. Thanks, Fluky Flip. Yes, we have Ryder, we have Bedevil, we have Nicol Bolas. We don't have land. Um, so we got we got some stuff. All right, hope they don't have planeswalkers. Hope it's just creatures. Mm, let's do this thing first. I just have more information whenever I discovery. Okay, bunch of creatures, it's good. Mayhem Devil doesn't. Doesn't die to cry. So, of course, that's what my opponent starts with. Come on. Come on. There you go. All right, now untap land. We slam Nicobolus. Yay. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. Is there a duress like card that could discard land? Let your no. weak minds no. crumble. Well, that's definitely the card I didn't want to see, unfortunately. 
wipe your bloodline from existence. Could have waited, I guess. Hey, these little guys are great. This is definitely like the card that I wanted to see the least, that's for sure. Oh, do not choose that. I do not have blue mana. All right, digging for something for Chandra. That's the mission briefing, helping with that. We got rid of two cards that don't deal with Chandra. And we found one. Good. Good. What does mission briefing do except for a bunch of nothing? Did you just see that? It just... My mission briefing killed killed their mayhem devil. And... See, so, you know, I traded one for one there with the mayhem devil. And also digged me towards a removal spell for Chandra. With the surveil too. What, what more do you want? For a card. Not good tapping. So I know I'm really close to dying, but I kind of need the Nickel Bullets to stay alive also. So I need them to not have anything here. So that's three, four, five. So we're going down to one right now. Uh, that's zero. So that Chandra got me both, both of those games. Chandra. I mean, if I just if I just don't slam Nicol Bolas, um, if I if I would have just played Crowther Canary and played my tap land, then if they play Chandra, then I could have gone Nicol Bolas kill Chandra, and like you know that would have been the difference in the game. So it ended up being, I thought I had the ability to, to slam the Nicol Bolas and untap, but. My plan was re my play was really bad against them playing Chandra, and they did, and so I, so yeah, that was I took the wrong line there. Looks like the same kind of matchup. It's definitely possible. Double light at the stage. We'll take one of them. Definitely possible I need to just sideboard out Thought Erasure. So we saw like that game, we drew two Thought Erasures late. After, like, you know, we're both top decking. That's the thing is, like, our, our deck gets us to, like, the top deck mode. And they can empty their hand so fast that it's, it's really hard for Thought Erasure to be that good. Okay. 
commander decks with a special specified budget. Um, yeah, for the music, there's the link to the music. As far as uh, commander decks, the best resource I know is the edhrec.com. Chandra. Stop having Chandras. But yeah, yep, our mana base is pretty painful. We've already taken four damage from it. That is pretty painful. We're playing Orzov Cavalier combo, and it's fun. That does sound like a fun deck. All right, let's see if we draw our Cry of the Carnarium. I only have one Cry. We got we have three Ritual of Soots, one Cry. We're looking for one of those. Not doing a good job finding them. Sideboard will have two more cries. We'll have we'll have three cry, three soot after board. All right, takes half our life total there. Down from twelve to six. So I could shock in. I could shock in for briefing to to try to hit Cry of the Carnarium. If I don't shock in, if I don't shock in, I'm not dead. One, two, three, four. Because you know I can brazen borrower and bounce. Worst case scenario. But if I shock, if I shock and it's not Cry of the Carnarium, I die. Um. All right, we're going to shock. High upside. Well, it's not Cry of the Carnarium. Yep, we, we try to play to win and not play to live. All right, so what if I, I didn't, I took out all the negates last time. What if I play the negates so we can actually counter planeswalkers and stuff? Let's do that. So basically last time I played thought erasures, this time I'm going to play negates instead. I think negate's probably a better card than Thought Erasure, especially against especially against the red deck that can have just burn spells to finish me off. Uh, we lost the match before this, so we're one on one now. But yeah, so you know we can counter three mana Chandra, we can counter light up the stage, um, but then also just regular burn spells. Because against the creatures we have, we have all these sweepers now. You know, bring an extra Legion's End and Cry the Carnariums and Ritual of Sets. We're kind of good there against the creatures. The spells is what we struggled with more last match, too. So 25 land deck. If we keep six. Pretty sure this is a keep. Obviously because of how good this card is. Um, 
It's better than, than all of the cards that we had last game put together. May not. So there's there's only 19 more lands out of the 53. We have cards like Discovery that would help filter through more lands as well. How this got started. We'll be fine. Okay, uh, maybe it won't be as fine. If you wish to meditate and prepare. was really the card I did not want to see. Full of <laughs> uh, that was really the card I didn't want to see. If if one of those other two removal spells were like if we had Bedevil if I could have chose Bedevil or Nickel Bolas, I would have taken Bedevil. All right, so it looks like we found a weakness in our deck is Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Hey, these little guys are great. Good hand. All right, so Grixis, Surveil. Um, so basically what, what we thought we were gonna be doing here with this deck. Um, disinformation campaign. Yes, yeah, so like, Again, so like the, the deck here was built around mission briefing and wanted to take advantage of the surveil, so we went campaign. And we we beat the other slower deck with uh, you know, we got to really outgrind Jeskai Fires and, and that was good. I think that that uh, Jeskai Fires is a real popular deck and being able to outgrind that deck, um, that's a really good showing, I think. And then uh, yeah, we saw against the, the red aggro decks, we struggled, and that's it's not really anything new for Grixis decks to struggle against red aggro. There's obviously a lot of different cards that we could be playing to help out um, those matchups. You know, there's, there's, I mean, there's just, there's just a lot of different things that we could be playing to make our red aggro matchup better. But that, that wasn't really the point of our deck here. Um, you know, this, this donation deck was built around mission briefing, and, and I think it did a pretty good job. Um, I don't think that like this deck's going to always lose to the red aggro. We just happen to lose those, but, um, those are, those are definitely bad matchups. Mono red, uh, cavalcade. Yeah. Cavalcade's really tough because that's an enchantment. Grixis doesn't answer enchantments. That's a tough one. Um, <laughs> yeah, a bunch of, yeah. Mana base is kind of tough for, for the red aggro. Uh, could could definitely have more in the sideboard. 
you know, there's there's a lot of stuff you could be playing, you know, like even Enter the God Eternals. Um, was a, Enter the God Eternals was a card that I definitely thought about playing with this deck because it's a sorcery for mission briefing. So you can enter the God e- So I, I thought about, you know, playing a bunch of Enter the God Eternals. But honestly, I mean, it's it would have been great in those matchups. You know, Killing Mayhem Devil um, would have been awesome. But then uh, we, we didn't play best of one with this deck. Um, so, like, that that is a card that pairs well with Mission Briefing. So that could be a sideboard card. Um, the, the problem with, with um, Enter the God Eternals is I don't think it's very good against, like, the most popular decks. I, I don't think it's, you know, even, like, the even the Rakdos deck, I don't think it's really that great against because they have the Witch's Ovens. Um I mean, it's kind of just really good against Mono Red, but it's it's not good against Jeskai Fires, which is the most popular deck right now. Um, so I just kind of so I, I didn't play it. I moved to, moved away from it. I liked this deck though. I liked how it felt. I was really surprised by Discovery. Discovery was really really good for us. Uh, like the dispersal was awesome. Discovery let us keep a couple two landers uh, where we hit our other land drops. Um, Brazen Borrower was was really disappointing. That that card did not did not feel very good. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I liked playing this deck. I think this I liked how this felt, and I, I really liked playing this against the fires deck. There. Okay, so that's Grixis Surveil. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there, uh, and of course, uh, don't forget to hit or don't forget to leave some comments as well. And I hope you check out the Patreon page as well if you are enjoying my videos and want to help support my content by uh, signing up for Patreon and joining our community over there. Um, but thank you so much for watching Grixis Surveil, and I'll see you for the next video.